let us for once accept the validity of the skeptical point of departure. If there were no other metaphysical world and all explanations of the only world known to us drawn from metaphysics were useless to us, in what light would we then regard men and things? This question can be thought through, and it is valuable to do so, even if we do for once ignore the question whether the existence of anything metaphysical has been scientifically demonstrated by Kant and Schopenhauer. For the historical probability is that one day mankind will very possibly become, in general and on the whole, skeptical in this matter. Thus the question becomes, what shape will human society then assume? under the influence of such an attitude of mind. Perhaps the scientific demonstration of the existence of any kind of metaphysical world is already so difficult that mankind will never again be free of a mistrust of it. And if one has a mistrust of metaphysics, the results are by and large the same as if it had been directly refuted, and one no longer had the right to believe in it. The historical question in regard to an unmetaphysical attitude of mind on the part of mankind, remains the same in both cases.